In this video, I'm going to tell you how to learn the JavaScript programming language really fast. I think it's an excellent choice for beginners for many reasons. First of all, JavaScript is a very high level language, so it is very easy for beginners to learn. Number two, you can build a lot of cool stuff with it, like pretty much the whole entire web runs on JavaScript. Number three, it's probably the most in demand language in the world. Alongside Python, probably tied with it, most of the jobs are in web development. So therefore, if your goal is to get a job as a software engineer really quickly, then JavaScript is one of the best choices for you. Step number one is that you need to learn programming fundamentals. And for this, literally just type on YouTube, like right now, like after this video, you just type on YouTube, JavaScript programming basics or JavaScript fundamentals, and literally just pick any of them because most of them will probably teach the same things. It's just about which sort of teaching style you prefer. Concepts that you should focus on in this stage are basic programming concepts like loops, how functions work, what are variables, what are types, how the program flows, what it actually means to run a function, to define a function, what are methods. At this point, if you're watching this video, I assume that you sort of decided that you wanted to get into web development because that is really the area where JavaScript shines. After you've done that, step two is to pick a web developer curriculum. For an excellent free option, I would choose the Odin project. I think it's probably the most popular online web developer curriculum. You just follow it at your own pace. It has a bunch of practice projects along the way. This is personally the curriculum that I did when I first started getting into web development. I actually didn't end up finishing it for reasons which we'll discuss in a moment. Other options include free code camp. A lot of their courses are also JavaScript slash web dev focused. I personally did not enjoy free code camp that much, but it's also a resource that many people enjoy. The downside with the Odin project and a lot of these free resources are that they usually text based. So essentially in the Odin project, each lesson, it will be linking you to a lot of different external articles. And I found that studying by uh, sort of text-based articles was not the most engaging way for me to learn personally. So if I was starting over, what I would probably do is pick a video course, something from Udemy or Zero to Mastery's full web developer curriculum. Most of the coding courses I do nowadays are from Zero to Mastery. It is paid, but it's just one subscription that gets you access to all of these different courses. What you could do is do the web developer curriculum, then go into the advanced JavaScript course, and then the 20 JavaScript portfolio projects course, all just for the same subscription and I am affiliated with them because I love them so much. So if you want 10% off, you can check out my code down below in the description. But whichever curriculum you choose, completing this step is probably going to take you a couple of months. But then again, many people have completed it in a lot less time. It just depends on how much time you have to put into it. But first, let's talk about morning routines. I used to just open Instagram at 7am and before I knew it, the morning was pretty much gone. But luckily, I found Morning Brew, who are today's sponsor. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter delivered Monday through Sunday that gets you up to speed on business finance and tech in just five minutes. This means that I can finally be up to speed on what is going on in the world without having to spend time weeding through all the junk that I'm not actually interested in. And you can also learn some very interesting things here. Like for example, just today, I was reading about how meditation apps are going down in uses. And this was really interesting to me because I use these apps myself. So if you're interested in business, finance or tech, there's literally no reason not to subscribe because it's completely free and takes only 15 seconds to sign up. So sign up for free by using Morning morningbrewdaily.com slash internet coder or click the link in the description. Thank you for Morning Brew for sponsoring this video and making these videos possible. With many other languages, at this point, I would recommend you to also learn computer science fundamentals by doing something like CS50. But I think if you're going into web development, learning computer science fundamentals, at least early on, is not nearly as important because when you're building websites, it's simply not that important to know like complex algorithms and data structures stuff. This is stuff you want to learn eventually. But at this point, if literally your goal is just to get a job as a web developer, I would probably just focus on learning programming and web development concepts first. Step number three is build a lot of simple projects and probably step number two and step number three will sort of happen at the same time as because as you do your web developer curriculum, they will include a lot of practice projects for you to do, at least if the curriculum is good. It's easy to think that you are actually learning, but if you've just been watching tutorials without actually putting the stuff into practice, you have no idea how to code, bro. Just code it up, just do it yourself, and you will actually be humbled when you open your empty code file, you will actually remember a lot less than you think. But once you go through with it, those things are going to actually be ingrained into your brain and you can move on to the next step, which is start learning some intermediate JavaScript concepts, specifically object-oriented programming. Again, 
probably during your curriculum, whichever one you're following, they are also going to teach this essentially to learn to understand what a class is, what it means to create an instance of a class, why object oriented programming is so important and so popular nowadays. And at this point, you also want to start thinking about a slightly more complex slash bigger project that you want to build and get started with it. And this is the part where you're actually learning just the whole lot. I remember the first times when I was building full websites, I was doing the CS50 web development course. First time when I was building websites, this is really the time when I felt like, oh my God, like literally my programming level is like jumping up. Like every hour when I was coding up something, I had to like look up all these things, like Google how to start up a web server, all these things. I was learning so much. So I can't stress enough how important it is, again, to find exciting projects for you to do. When I first started learning to code, I first learned the basics of Python, but then right after I got in the web development. So essentially what I've just described is almost exactly what I did, except I had also done CS50 and then the CS50 follow-up was on web development because I was also very excited to learn about computer science concepts at this point. And this is also the point when you'll probably know enough about programming and maybe you've been doing a lot of research in the different areas of programming to really answer the question of whether web development is actually the area that you want to specialize in, whether you're actually interested in building websites and writing JavaScript. And I actually found that at this point, this probably wasn't the area for me. And I described in my other video my, about Python and JavaScript. So I did actually end up sort of switching over to focusing more on Python. And that's why I still write more Python nowadays. But what I'm now going to describe to you is what I sort of would do and probably what I will do eventually once I sort of get back into JavaScript, go into a lot of the more advanced stuff. So the next stuff I would learn is some more advanced JavaScript JavaScript concepts and then general concepts about modularizing your code and just writing better code. And as I'm starting my full time job, I'll obviously be learning about a lot of these things along the way, whichever programming language I will be writing in my job, because a lot of the concepts are very similar across languages. And again, if you did the zero to mastery web developer curriculum before with the same subscription, they have a course on advanced JavaScript, which I actually plan to do at some point very soon, because there's a lot of holes there, which even I haven't really learned about JavaScript. Yet. So after you do all of these steps, you're now going to be a pretty good JavaScript developer. Congratulations, but you still have a problem. Even if you build a bunch of really awesome portfolio projects to pass the resume stage, you're still not going to be able to get a job unless you learn to pass the dreaded coding interview. And to do that, you're finally going to have to learn some computer science concepts, namely data structures and algorithms, because these are the things that most big tech companies actually test in their interviews. So it's absolutely crucial that you take the time to do that next. And luckily for you, I made this video right here where I described to you exactly how I learned data structures and algorithms, as well as the exact step-by-step -step path that I recommend you take. I also have my own data structures and algorithms tutorials coming up on this channel where I describe in my own words how I understand these topics. So you absolutely must hit that subscribe button right now so that you don't miss them. But first, you have to watch this video right here.